Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about Java program to check whether the given number is prime number or not. In the previous video, we are already discussed about Java program to add two numbers using command line arguments. Java program to find the sum of two numbers using scanner class. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Dibbela Srinivas Rao. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about how to perform, how to check whether the given number is prime number or not. Okay. First, we have to import the scanner class from util package. Import java dot util dot scanner. So this line is used for importing the scanner class from the util package. Scanner class is used for reading the input from the keyboard. Next, we have to create a class, class prime checking. Class name is prime checking. Next, main method, we can go for main method public static void main string arguments. Now we can go to the body of the main method. So this entire line is called as main method. Every Java program execution starts with main method. Okay. Next, we have to declare n value i comma count. Count is equal to 0. Initially, count is equal to 0. Next one, create the object for scanner class. Scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in. So this line is in this line we have to create the object for scanner class. So scanner is the class sc is the object reference new operator is used for allocating the memory for the memory for the object sc and this is a constructor and this is one parameter passing to the constructor so whenever this line is executed it receives the input from the keyboard next one n is equal to sc dot next int. So this line is used for reading the n value from the keyboard. Whatever the value that we are entered from the keyboard that can be taken as the string value that string value can be converted into integer value by using the next int method. So next int method is used for converting the string value into integer value. So that value can be assigned to the variable n. So before that, we have to write one statement. So system dot out dot print ln enter 
n value so n value is read from the keyboard by using this statement next one we can go for the logic for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus if n modulus operator i equal to equal to 0 so then count plus plus count value is incremented next one so for loop close next if statement if count equal to equal to 2 system dot out dot println given number is a prime number given number is a prime number else system dot out dot println given number is not a prime number then main close and class close so this is the simple program for checking whether the given number is prime number or not so first we have to enter the n value from the keyboard so by using this statement so whatever the value entered from the keyboard that value can be taken as a string to convert this value into integer we have to use this method next int method this method is available in scanner class so by using the object that we are created for the scanner class so by using that object se we have to access this method available in scanner class now so that value is stored in variable n now what is the logic of prime number so the given n value can be divided divided with only one and that number okay i is equal to one i less than or equal to n i plus plus so this loop is repeated from 1 to n number so if n modulus operator i equal to equal to 0 this condition is true if i value is 1 and i value is equal to the n okay for example suppose given number n is 3 so i is equal to 1 1 less than or equal to n n is nothing but 3 1 less than or equal to 3 condition true the control goes to the body of the for loop if n value 3 i value 1 3 modulus operator 1 equal to equal to 0 condition true the control goes to the if block and execute the statement within the if block count plus plus so initially count value is 0 now count value is incremented by 1 then count value is 1 next again control goes to the for loop i value is incremented 
now i value is a 2 2 less than or equal to 3 condition true if the condition is true then the control goes to the body of the for loop n value 3 i value 2 3 modulus operator 2 equal to equal to 0 false 3 modulus operator 2 is 1 but it is not 0 so that the condition failed then the control goes to the next statement after the if block there are no statements are there in the if after the if block again control goes to the for loop i value is incremented now i value 3 3 less than or equal to 3 condition true the control goes to the body of the for loop here n value 3 i value 3 3 modulus operator 3 equal to equal to 0 condition true the control goes to the if body of the if block count plus plus now previously count value 1 now it is 2 okay again the control goes to the for loop i value is incremented now i value 4 4 less than or equal to 3 false then the control goes to the next statement after the for loop so next statement is if count equal to equal to 2 so here count value is incremented two times at i is equal to 1 and i is equal to n so therefore count value is equal to 2 so if count equal to equal to 2 condition true then system dot out dot println given number is a prime number if count value equal to equal to 2 false then given number is not a prime number so this is the simple logic of uh, prime number program in java now we have to save that program by using the class name prime checking dot java save as here you have to write prime checking dot java Prime checking dot java save that program so now we can go to the command prompt so java c how we are compile the program java c so class name dot java java c prime checking prime checking dot java prime checking dot java now successfully compiled now we have to run the program java prime checking java prime checking so enter n value so i am entering n value is 3 so we already know that 3 is a prime number press enter so given number is a prime number again we have to run the compile the program java c prime checking dot java next java prime checking java prime checking press enter enter n value i am giving n value is 4 4 is not a prime number press enter so given number is not a prime number so this is the prime number logic so prime number program in java using scanner class so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section I will clarify your doubts. Please forward this video to your friends and classmates. Please give your valuable suggestion to improve my channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel Develop Srinivasarao. Thank you.